All right, all right, all right, Matt, the mortgage guy, the real estate market has flipped. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what the heck that means, what it's like for buyers and sellers the second half of 2022 from someone with boots on the ground who's working with dozens of people all day, every day who are actively involved in real estate transactions. I'll give you the lowdown. All right, Matt, the mortgage guy, residential mortgage broker, licensed in 48 out of 50 states at Mortgage, greatmortgagebroker.com if you want to connect with me and the team. In today's video, I'm talking about the fact that the real estate market has flipped, which truth be told is a pretty accurate statement. When you think about where we were six months ago, how much leverage buyers had, how much leverage sellers had, um, I think it might get blown out of proportion by a lot of folks, but I'll tell you, as somebody with dozens of active contracts, people who are actively buying uh, a home, what those contracts look like, what negotiations have looked like, what's being accepted and what's not, um, I can give you this information months before it ever reaches uh, a stat sheet, months before it ever reaches you know, a news article that's been written about past data, right? Um, and that's the, I guess, good thing about talking to someone who's actively involved is that you get a little head start on the data. My buddy Ryan Lundquist over at Sacramento Appraisal Blog does a great job of looking at not just data, but also talking to real estate agents that are working in the field all day, every day. He recently put out something that talked about this humongous surge in seller concessions. I reached out to him to say, hey, while this looks humongous, the stuff that's already hit the stat sheet, wait until you see what that looks like a month or two from now. Because I can tell you with a couple dozen contracts active, if I look through those, 70% of them probably offhand have some sort of seller concession. $4,500 seller credit, $8,000 seller credit, $9,750 in seller credit. Negotiate reduction in price and a seller credit. Things like that are happening. And when you say the real estate market flipped, that means a thousand different things to a thousand different people from the sense of the buyers having no leverage at all to having a lot that did flip and it flipped rather quick. If you think about what the market looked like just six months ago in February of 2022, there was so much demand um, and there was so few homes to, to quell that demand, that 15, 20, 25 offers, homes flying off the market within a couple of days was just common. So you had to go out of your way, release contingencies, not have a loan contingency, not have an appraisal contingency, offer well above ask, close it in 15 days, all the things. And now here we are just six months later, and it's changed incrementally, but relatively fast, most all contracts in even markets that still feel pretty competitive, like Sacramento, California, you have an appraisal contingency, you have inspection contingencies, you have a loan contingency, you're probably not offering above list, you're more than likely getting a seller concession. If the number's 50 or 60%, that's still a humongous swing from probably below 15% were getting seller concessions six months ago or, or before. So um, what does all of this mean for you if you're a buyer? What does all of this mean for you if you're a seller? If you're a buyer, good news. It's not 2020. It's not 2021. You've got a shot and you've got even more than a shot. Now, you know, it really to, to sum it up, why demand has fallen off a cliff, it's pretty simple. Rates have gone up. It's made it less affordable for a lot of folks. And so as rates go up and inflation goes up, mortgage demand drops. People who are able to qualify for a house goes down. People that maybe qualify, but the mortgage looks five or $600 a month bigger and they don't want to buy anymore, comes off the table. This pool of buyers is smaller. And the, and the funny part is a lot of people talk about inventory and how inventory is surging 
new homes coming onto market being listed for whatever the reason is, hasn't really increased, but inventory has increased. And I'll tell you how that happens. A house that comes to market that might have sold in seven days, six months ago, now stays on the market for 15 or 20 days, inventory starts to pile up. So inventory can take a rather steep trajectory, even though number of new listings hasn't gone up quite so much. Hopefully that makes sense to you. I try to keep things pretty simple on this channel, but I looked back, you know, another uh, shout out to Ryan Lundquist of sacramentoappraisalblog.com had a really cool graph that showed the last four or five years of new listings. And 2022 and 2021, the new listings are less than they were in 20 and 19. There's actually more new listings during those periods. But with less listings, we have more inventory because the stuff that is listed takes longer to sell. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you're a buyer, you've got some leverage, have some optimism, no longer can get a 2.5% 30-year fixed, um, but you're, you're going to be up against much less competition. If you are a seller, please, please hear me. A lot of sellers want February's pricing and February's speed and February's frenzy. It just does not exist. It's not there anymore. You've got a smaller number of buyers to appeal to. You've got a smaller number of buyers clamoring for your home. If you're priced right, if your house is, shows well, if you've got a great agent, you probably don't have any problem selling. There's still enough buyers that, that your house will sell. But if your house doesn't show very well, if you're unrealistic with your price and you have an agent that's not great at getting people through the door and generating offers, you unfortunately are going to be one of the folks that I see right now that have 50 day, 60 day listings that are just sitting and aren't selling. If you want to connect with a great agent in your market, no matter where you're at, go to homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt. Just partner with these folks. They do a great job. They connect you with a great agent. I can't tell you how important it is in today's market more than ever to have a great agent, whether you're on the buy side or the sell side. You need to have someone that's working in real estate all day, every day, knows the market, knows how to either get you a great deal on the buy side or get you sold fast and at the highest price on the sell side. Again, homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt. Go check that out. Um, great partner who was fully vetted. And I've got uh, a bunch of folks who I talked to about the job they're doing over there and they're doing a fantastic job. Otherwise, I wouldn't have partnered with them. It's really the only um, company that I've partnered with. So no, no, no sponsorships on the Matt the Morris Guy channel, but homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt um, if you're looking to connect with a real estate agent. Because if you do it on your own and just find Aunt Sue's cousin's friend or your next door neighbor who got their license three months ago, you might not have a great of an experience. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, as always, if you want to reach out to me and my team, greatmortgagebroker.com. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we go and see.